How's it going everyone? Maryland here, and that's right, it's time for more of the Pokemon X Wedlock. However, you may notice I'm on the main screen. That's just because I wanted to get something off of Mystery Gift. I've actually been meaning to do this, but for some reason it just wasn't available, like right when I needed it to be. Yeah, it was weird, it wasn't available on Thursday. I'm currently recording this on Friday and it's available, but I wanna pick up that shiny evil tall. This thing will be available in the US and I think maybe even Canada until May 26, 2016. So if you're watching this after that, then sorry, you're not gonna be able to get this, but it is at least available for trade. Hopefully you'll still be able to get this in time because it looks pretty cool. Now, I'm not using this in my wedlock, don't worry. This is just for after the adventure is over, just so I'll have something uh, that I can trade back to my main version. But yeah, here we go, Shiny Evil Tall. And I know it says 521 2016. Like I said in a previous video, I do set the time just a little bit offset, so that way I can play in the daytime. Wow, look at that black screen. Man, so boring, much boring. All right, let's start this up, what do you say? How's it going, everyone? Maryland here, that's right. It's time for more of the Pokemon X Wedlock. Last time I arrived in Dendemil Town, or Denda, Mille, Denda, Mille, me, me, I don't know. I really don't, I don't care. I'm just gonna call it Dendemil because it has a windmill in it and a windmill has two L's in it and I'm terrible with French pronunciations. We've already gone through this. Um, yeah, so I did a little bit of work on my moves, and then, uh, then I forgot. Oh, I can give Sage one more move. I'll show you in a moment, but I did some of the things that I was talking about last time. Um, I guess we will give Sage... Eh, let's just go ahead and give him Grass Knot. Why not, right? Because I don't need Thief. <laughs> and Night Slash, that's right. I did end up teaching him Night Slash. Oh, I guess I can get rid of Rock Smash as well. I only needed that for a little bit. All right, well, cool. Let's get some other move for him. Uh, and then the other move I taught was Dragon Pulse to Jasmine. I figured that'd be a good idea. Yeah, we'll go ahead and give Dig to Sage. I think that will work out rather nicely. And I got rid of Bulldoze for Dragon Pulse. I was kind of thinking of um, teaching Fire Punch, believe it or not. I know we're going into an ice area pretty soon, but in thinking about it, I already have Power Gem, and Jasmine does have a bit higher special attack than attack. She has a negative nature in special um, attack, though, so that's kind of unfortunate. But you know what? It's fine. It, it basically means I can use physical attacks a little bit better with her. Okay, so I guess we should start by going to the Lost Hotel. I don't think I need to clear this place. In fact, I don't even know if I could. I don't have all of the, uh, the skating moves, but maybe I should go back and get them. Huh, well, whatever the case, I should probably switch out my Pokemon. I don't know exactly what they use here, but I seem to recall... Oh, you know what? I know someone here has to have a Scrafty. Or maybe it's just a really high level Scraggy. I just remember there's something here that can hit pretty hard with high jump kick, and you don't want to mess with that. So let's not mess with it. Um, all right. Uh, maybe it's this guy. I ain't holding back just because you're a kid, you little punk. Oh, this guy has a lot of Pokemon in it. Yeah, it's a Scrafty, I knew it. But I totally forgot about his other two Pokemon, shoot. Uh, hopefully it's not too bad. All right, well, let's get this over with then. We're gonna Dazzling Gleam. Yeah, you're faster, that's good. Oh yeah, I jump kick this. Uh, Ponyard. Whoa. Yeah, we need to get out of here. <laughs> I have just the right matchups for both of these Pokemon. This is awesome. Oh, man. All right, Licorice. You've got this one in the bag. Aura Sphere. Oh, that was awesome. That's the first time I think I've used it. 
Ah, uh, at least in this. Oh, Sharpedo, huh? Well, gee, I guess I could use either. Um, might as well. Might as well just leave Licorice in. Alright, we're gonna Aura Sphere it again. <laughs> yeah! There, we just show that guy who's boss. Yeah, I might come back to clear this place later. I kind of want to go back and uh, take a look at the clothes in Lumio City. I know, I know. But I should get my Pokemon here. Hmm. There are a few different options. I'm trying to think of what I should have out right now. What was here? I know that there's like Litwick, which I guess wouldn't matter what I used. Um, because I couldn't fall swipe it. Shoot, well, let's just see what happens. I'm gonna use Coco. I guess Training Kiss is pretty weak, all things considered. This isn't shaking, right? It's a trash can. I know I can get, oh, hi. Come on, darling, bring out your Pokemon. My Swipe and Abak are itching to play. All right, fine. I guess she's probably gonna have a Swipe and an Arbok. Oh, that kind of stinks because they're poisoned. <laughs> and, uh,. Yeah, Coco does not like that, but you know what? We're gonna use some of this beautiful synergy between these two, and we're just going to switch her out for Licorice, who will hopefully figure something out to do. Oh, man, all right, so... Gastro Acid? That is so disgusting! Okay, well, I can't use Steadfast anymore. Aw, oh, darn. All right, I guess I'll just dig. Uh, Night Slash, okay. Yeah, not really a lot this thing can do, anyway. Yeah, take that, you snake. And Arbok. So I'm actually going to switch out. Not because I plan on actually using Coco, but just because I want to get her a little bit of extra experience. I might as well, right? At least, uh, oh yeah, an Intimidate too, that's right. Oh, see, that was smart. <laughs> I actually forgot about Intimidate. Maybe I was just trying to intimidate you with my knowledge. Yeah, that's it, that's it. It just looked like that, oh shoot! All right, so much for that idea. It's fine though, Dig will be just fine, I know it. Come on, why would it use Mud Bomb, really? Over, like, Poison Fang or some other random Poison-type move that this thing surely has. It goes for Mud Bomb anticipating the switch. Like, what does it do? No, or what does it think? It knows I'm doing a wedlock or something? I don't know, but that was kinda... Kinda cheaty, if you ask me. Oh, well, alright. Let's go ahead and use a Moo Moo Milk. I know it's not super efficient, because... Let's face it, it heals 100, and I only needed, like, what, 32 hit points healed. But it's actually okay, because it's not like I can really use items in battle, and, you know, it, it's just healing. It's not a huge deal. Oh, Smoke Ball, that's actually kind of nice for those instances where I want to train. Oh, shoot! Bad to the bone! Wait, no, that's the girl talking. Bad to the bone without a care in the world, that's us, all right. Rebel against everything, that's us, all right. Down with the man, man! Zoya and Asa. Hangaro and Garboder. Oh, this is bad. Uh, we gotta get rid of that Pangaro right now, or that thing is going to wreck Licorice. Oh my goodness, they're so strong. They're level 42. Um, so, Dazzling Gleam is going to hit both of them, right? Yeah, but it's not going to be effective against Garboder. I could dig, but that could also open up its own set of trouble. Actually, I can Aura Sphere. That thing is part dark, right? Yeah. Because I'm pretty sure Coco can take a hit from Garboder. It's just Pangaro and Licorice that won't tango all that well. All right, we're going to Aura Sphere it. Boom! Oh, wow, that was way easier than I thought it would be. Okay. Oh, Sludge Bomb. Uh, no, 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 oh, no, oh, no, no, 
What do I do? That's so bad! Um... That crit, though! Probably didn't matter. Oh, no! 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 I don't know what I can do right now! Ah! No! Um... Draining Kiss is not going to heal enough. Uh... Uh... If I use Dig... It's not going to matter. Because it'll be a turn too late. I have to use Aura Sphere. I know it's not effective. It's not really licorice I'm worried about right now. Oh my goodness! This is so bad! Um, okay. Let's just hope for the best. There's no other way around it, right? Um... I was actually thinking of using Draining Kiss on Licorice, if that would heal enough. I don't think it's gonna matter, though. I don't think it would be able to heal enough. Would it? Hold on. That is such a bizarre strategy. It... Uh... I don't know what it's accomplishing, though. Okay, so... This is very strange. Thunderbolt, I would pretty much have to hope for paralysis, which is a 10% chance, and then I'd have to hope that it's paralyzed for a 30% chance. I don't think Thunderbolt is going to be enough to knock it out. Thunderbolt and, uh... Aura Sphere might... Or I could go for Draining Kiss on Licorice, have Licorice use Aura Sphere, and then, I don't know. I, I don't think Draining Kiss would heal enough. Oh, this is so tough. Uh... Training Kiss, shoot. Okay, I'm really sorry about this. This is like, so down to the wire. How much does Training Kiss... It has 50 power, and I think it heals 70% or 75% of the damage dealt. So, if it were super effective... No, it's not super effective against Licorice. It should only be normal effective. So it would do maybe, what, 50 or 60 damage. I'd heal like 40. I think it would do more than half if it used um, Sludge Bomb again. Oh, man. Well, we're just going to have to go for Thunderbolt then. It's just way too risky of a strategy. There's no easy way around this. Aura Sphere should do more than Poison Jab. And I know Dig is super effective, but I need to figure this out this turn. <laughs> Please don't die, Coco! That was pretty good. No, 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 no! just can't be! Oh! Okay! I liked Garboder for a little bit after the Black Wedlock. Not anymore! Not anymore! So I have to set on a male Pokemon right now. It is... 
Actually, it would only be fitting if I sent Sage out. Yeah, let's do that. I know I could blast this thing with all spice, but Sage, she just needs to avenge. Actually, kind of the, they both do. Man, that thing was faster than Coco, though. That is not right. Oh, Coco. She wasn't supposed to die. Not just some random scrubs in a basement. Well, I guess that just goes to show not even trainers of death can be trouble. Because they certainly weren't. I mean, it's a, I won't say it's an easy fight, but... Okay, um... So, I'm not going to be able to replace Coco with anything that I get here. I guess I might as well get my encounter if I'm right here. Or, let me put it to you this way. I'm not going to rush out of here. Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. There could be... Wait, I can't catch Magneton. Or Bolt Orb or anything, because it's genderless. Okay, well, whatever. I'm just going to get out of here. I was just thinking if I ran into an encounter. Man! That is just the worst! That is the worst! That crit sludge bomb! I don't think the crit actually mattered, but man! I just do not know what I could have done. And you know what? Pangoro would have one-hit KO'd Lucario. I'm sure of it. Lucario doesn't have a lot of defense, like, you know, as a species. It's just very kind of flimsy. Strong, but it- Coco can take hits so much better. And there really wasn't anything I could have done to take out Garboder that turn anyway. Like, I mean, it- it just... Yeah, that defense. And Pangoro has a lot of attack. It would have been a one-hit KO. I'm pretty sure of it. Oh, man. Well, can't wait to see all the YouTube comments saying you should have done this. <laughs> I'm just saying, just be respectful. Just remember, it, it doesn't matter now. <sighs> Nothing we can do. So, a lot of people have asked, you know, what I'm going to do if Coco does die. And... It's, it was terrible to think that. I didn't really even want to answer it, but I will do the same that I did for Polarity. I will just place her in a special box, just because, any way you look at it, shiny Pokemon are pretty rare. They're not something that I feel should just be released. Uh, it doesn't make her life any more or less special than the others. Um, it's just a matter of, you know, this is something that I, you know, feel is an accomplishment, so... I will place her in a special box. I won't release her at the end of the series, but for all purposes, she is released. But that way, she and her spirit can still carry on in, uh, I don't know, in my X version, where I do still go for shinies. And again, that's just kind of common with shiny claws. If I were to find a shiny that I already had, you know, I'd catch it as a trophy. And that's, hold up, hold up, I'm doing this wrong. It's just so weird not releasing, okay. So, let me think this through. Oh, she's healed now. <laughs> well, you know what this... how it goes. Alright, alright. So, let's give her one final farewell. Oh, Coco!
Well, I guess that's that. Poor Coco. You didn't deserve this. But now, Licorice will carry on the memories of you and Tarragon. Farewell, Coco. Actually, you know what? Maybe I should just put her in the battle box instead. That looks a lot more honorable, you know? I think I'll do that. All right, that way we don't have to worry about anyone accidentally getting in here. Um, all right, all right. That's not what I wanted, darn it. What What do I call it? Box seven? Man. That is just so sad. That just stinks. Double battles are the worst. Even though they weren't a trainer of death, I still think that, like, it was very, very avoidable and part of this challenge is you know fighting trainers that i might just avoid or might not fight that's part of it you know and sometimes you'll run into someone that just you couldn't handle and in thinking about it dang had i led with these two i would not have had a problem at all but i did or i mean i did have a problem i didn't lead with these two that's the wedlock for you. Double battles are extremely brutal in wedlocks, okay? I cannot stress this enough. A lot of you wonder why I try to avoid double battle fights um, in wedlocks. That is why. They are very tough, and you don't have any switch options unless someone dies, so it's really bad. But that's how it goes. Anyway, anyway, we must carry on. And I think we'll take Cardamom along with us because, frankly, it's either her or Marjoram. So, um, you know what? This has kind of got me thinking, just in case things go south, with, uh, with Jasmine. I need to get that, that darn Chinchow. Hopefully Chinchow, like, right now. So, I'm going to run all the way back to, um... Where is it? Shallower City. I have not gotten my Shallower City encounter, so I'm gonna go do that. Ah! Who's this guy? Oh, hi! Are you here to interview me? No! I'm just here to get back to where I was going. Vile Plume? What the heck is this? I didn't sign up for this! Oh! Yeah, I'm getting out of here. Man. Okay, Jasmine. Stun Spore. I don't think so. All right. Let's put that new Dragon Pulse to work. Ugh, that was terrible. Okay, we're going to confuse this thing. Man, I wish I had Fire Punch right about now. Oh... Well, at least I do have Dragon Pulse, so that's reassuring. Oh. <laughs> wow, this thing has had just terrible luck. I kind of feel bad for it. It missed three attacks in a row. That's usually what happens to me. <laughs> and it hit itself twice. Okay, well, that Vile Plume... May have normally been a threat, but for these two, they handled it just fine. Ah, jeez. Why did he think that I was going to be from the TV? Like, you were in the leaves there. Why would I... I was just going to leave you alone. All right, let me grab this dire hit that I'm never going to use. And continue my journey back to, uh, Shalor. I've not fought her either! Pokeballs around, the world is also around. How did I miss all these trainers? Oh, man. Oh, well, whatever. I guess it's because I'm not backtracking. But I am now. So, yeah. Alright. At least Sage is in a good position to take out this Chimeca. 
on. There. Not like they were that much of a trouble, but geez. It's just the nerve of it all. Anyone else that I'm forgetting here? I don't really care. Okay, I was thinking about it. First of all, I did check out the clothes. There were some cool stuff, but nothing I needed. But I wanted to talk to this guy in uh, Lumio City because now I have the... Oh, wait, what was it? Uh, Drift and Dash. Slide the circle pad in the opposite direction. Is that the other one? Yeah, I think that's it. The backflip, because I think I have the backflip, right? Yeah, so hopefully when I go back to the Lost Hotel, then I'll actually be able to, uh, I don't know, be a skating master or something like that. Uh, I don't remember if that's all I need, but whatever. Anyway, I gotta get back to wherever I was going. Man, I wish I had fly, but yeah, I might as well talk to this girl here while I'm in Coomarine. Uh, let's see. Slower Pokemon get to move first for five turns. That is Trick Room. Yeah, I have the best TM in my opinion, but Trick Room is also very good. In certain situations, um, I don't think any of my Pokemon will really benefit from it right now, to be honest. But hey, you know what? It's good to have. I might as well have it. Wow, why on earth would Espeon want that? I don't know. Okay, I am back in Shallower City, so let's go ahead and hopefully get my encounter. Now, I'm thinking about it, I probably have to leave with Jasmine, although I did go ahead and teach Foxglove false swipe, but it should be fine either way. It's not like a Chinchou will be that dangerous. Um, and I might not get Chinchou too, but I know I'll have the best odds since uh, she has static, so that's reassuring. Okay. Here we go, we're going to use the good route. I guess I didn't need to go into my menu for this. I already had it registered. But my Shallower City Encounter. Is... Not Chinchou! Ah, it's Remoraid, darn it! Oh man, and it's male. What a disappointment. Man. Eh. Uh, yeah, look at your smug face. <sighs> Darn it! <laughs> I really wanted to get a Chincho. Well, I didn't get one. I got Remoraid, which I'll take. I'll take. But reluctantly. All right, you. Let's give you a nickname. All right, I'm gonna name it Dill. Um, because it evolves into Octillery. So Octillery, I don't know, never mind. We're naming him Dill, and we're gonna leave with that. All right, Dill. <laughs> oh, darn it. Okay, here's a look at Dill, because we really needed to make him worse, let's give him a jolly nature. So all those lovely special attacks will do less damage. And Octillery is just, you know, a beacon of speed, so clearly we needed to have it be faster. Yeah, that's very disappointing. Sorry, Dill, but... Uh. Okay, I am back at the Lost Hotel now. I am not going to just abandon this place. I don't think I'm gonna check out Route 16 today, but I wanna get my revenge for what happened to Coco down here. Oh man, so yeah, if I was a little salty, I apologize. I was just really upset over that. Like seriously, who wouldn't be? That was so upsetting. And I guess one of the things, okay, well, I'll put that aside for a moment. Right now it's my encounter, which is that's cool. I like that. Okay, Ponyard is okay. Are you? Ooh, it's even female. That is awesome. Um, but... Well, I don't think it could knock out all spice. Let's just go ahead and use a quick ball. And I got it. Woo! That was good. Okay, finally something decent. That is so good. Um, alright. 
Although, I guess it's going to be a little tricky to use because it doesn't evolve for a while. And it's really weak to fighting, but hey, you know what? That's fine. This thing has swords everywhere! Alright, let's give her a name. I'm going to go check my list and I'll be right back. Okay, so I know that she's not really a poisonous Pokemon, but she is a dark type. And I think that this would be still an appropriate name for her. We are going to call her... Nightshade. Yeah, I know. That's kind of like a poisonous plant, but I did have it on my list, just in case. And you know what? I think she'd be a good candidate for that. Um, there were a few other options, but I might as well go with it. Uh, all right. Foxglove, we need to get rid of False Swipe because we don't need it right now. What we need for you is Swords Dance, just in case we end up needing it for something. Which I don't think we would, but... Still good to have. Like, if we're facing something weak, you know, we might just want to set up against it with Swords Dance and go to town. Alright, well, I at least have my encounter out of the way, so I don't have to worry about that now. Hopefully I don't run into too many more dark types. Oh my goodness, if I run into another Scrafty, I'm gonna die. Three out of... Well, actually, hold up. Four out of my five remaining trained Pokemon are weak to... <laughs> Scrafty, that's very bad. That's very bad. Uh, you have Dazzling Gleam, though, so you're okay. I don't have to worry about that. One Dazzling Gleam and I'm sad. All right, I don't have to worry about my encounter. I just have to worry about the other trainers around here. I'm not going to be able to explore all of this place, but I, uh, I might as well. You stupid thing! You stupid thing! You killed my Coco! For that, I'm gonna Psychic you. Even though I know it wasn't you that killed it, but... I have to take my Rage out on something. Just think, I could have gotten one of those. That would have been awkward, having a female Trubbish after a Trubbish or a Garboder just killed Coco. Ugh. Okay, well, I think where I need to go is down here, right? Dude, kid, what do you think you're wearing? You ain't got no sense of style. You're getting, or you're getting about a million years ahead of yourself that you think you can meet the boss. You gotta be kidding me. I did everything you wanted me to. What? Do I have to max out my style? I think I do, darn it. Aw, oh, man. I don't even think the reward's that worth it. That's garbage. No pun intended. But yeah, what I was trying to say a little earlier was, you know, I I know I was like, oh yeah, you know, just wait until the YouTube comments. It's it's just sad. That's kind of how I I think sometimes. You know, I I wish people would just understand. You know, it feels bad when you're playing a Nuzlocke and you lose a Pokemon. It stinks. You know, and especially with me. Like I try to treat these as stories and. Every death matters in my adventure. And when, you know, the comments are just what I could have done differently or all that, okay, even if it's the most constructive comment in the world, it still doesn't change what happened. It's not like I can go back and fix things. It's not like I can just reset. There is no option for that. So I guess just try to be sympathetic rather than, you know, just, oh, you should have done this because it's just nicer. And I get that not everyone wants to make nice comments. <laughs> you know, YouTube gives you that freedom. But, you know, this is still a series that I hope you're enjoying, regardless of situations like that. So, uh, yeah, you know, just put yourself in, in my shoes. It really stinks that we lost a, a really great Pokemon due to just a rough battle. Like, I mean, maybe there was something different. Maybe someone will do a frame-by-frame -frame analysis and think that, oh, yeah, I could have... But, like, in the situation, there really wasn't a lot I could have done, at least that I saw. It was just bad luck. I mean, if I had looked up the trainers in the area, well, yeah, I would have known. And I would have used the pair that I was saying I could have, but that's part of the challenge. I mean, it's not technically part of the wedlock challenge or the rules that I'm playing by. I just personally don't like looking up trainers. I try to do it from memory. Uh, that way things do surprise me, and even though it sucks when it happens, it's still, you know, more challenging than just, yeah, <laughs> you know, I know what everything is. Not to say that if you do that, you're a terrible person. A lot of people who are new to Nuzlocks and Wedlocks, hey, I encourage it. Be prepared so you don't have issues like that. 
But anyway, you know what? I know that I've rambled on a lot, but that's just because I know there's no way I'm going to get through all of Route 16 today. So we're going to do that next time. Although, I should probably train up. Uh, maybe I'll train up next time. It's running a bit late. Ah, uh, yeah. So I'll train up Cardamom and cover Route 16 on the next episode of Maryland's Pokemon X Wedlock. See you next time, really tall grass. Trevor.